All right, in this next example of applying the basic uh, bending stress model, we're given that we have a wood cross section. SPS stands for spruce pine fir, with a 1500 psi able, 1500 psi allowable bending stress. It is a four by six timber, subjected to bending about its minor axis. Find the maximum allowable bending moment. Now, when you start dealing with wood. The 4 by 6 is usually rough dimension. The actual dressed dimension after you shave it down and make it nice and clean is smaller. So 3.5 by 5.5 here are, are dressed dimensions. You call that a 4 by 6, but that's um, from a dressed is 3.5 by 5.5 uh, inches. Now, why did I know to put the 3.5 vertical and 5.5 and horizontal? Because it told me that this member is subjected to bending about its minor axis. The minor axis is the one with the lower I sub whatever, right? So this one here then, our I, which will be equal to 1 12th BH cubed, we have to put the B as the 5 and a half and the H as the 3 and a half. If we turned it the, the cross section and bent it about the other axis, then it would have a much larger um, second moment of area. Right? And we're trying to figure out, well, what's this maximum allowable bending moment? Now, this all goes back to the basic model, which says that sigma equals my over i. Right? And that sigma max would be equal to mc over i. That's where y is at the maximum. We're at the outer fiber, right? And so that all comes from the stress variation that says that it's going to be a linear variation with elastic behavior. Plain sections remain plain. Right? And given the positive bending moment that is shown here, then that would be compression in the top and uh, tension on the bottom. We're not told that the la maximum allowable bending moment or this maximum uh, rather allowable bending stress is compression or tension. So we have to take it to be the same. We have a doubly symmetric cross section. So we can <clears throat> then proceed forward here in a pretty straightforward fashion. As we're looking for what's the maximum moment we can use when the max stress is set equal to this allowable stress, and then, of course, times I over. C, right? And it, that maximum has been given to us as 1500 psi. Our I value will be 1 12th of the base times the height cubed. I left it symbolically for the following reason because I'm going to divide that by then C, which is half of the height. So note what happens there. That's 1500 psi times then ultimately bh squared over 6. This is the s value for that uh, for a rectangular cross section that's being bent about an axis that is parallel to the b dimension. Right? And now we can put in the, the actual numbers here, 1500 psi, then times the base, which is 5.5 inches, times the height, which is 3.5 inches. That is squared, all divided by 6. And so what do we get here? We, let's put in our calculator, 1,500 times 5.5 times 3.5. That's squared, all divided by 6. And we get 16,844. And you say, wait a minute, that's not what the answer says. That's 1,400 pound foot. Well, be, check it out. Pounds per squ uh, square inch times inch cubed is pound inches. So to get that into pound feet, then we'll divide by one foot over 12 inches. And when we do that, then we get down to around the 1,400. See 1403.6, I would not report it to that, especially with wood. And we'll get that the allowable bending moment is 1400 pound foot.